of all the lightning, but also all the fireworks out there. Well, I mean, I can synthesize this kind of thing on, on After Effects, but... I'd like to see it, you know, and then maybe... I don't know what... What would you do with it? Not did many... You get, did you see it? Did you get it? Yeah. Sweet. Not many effects I can do with this since the clouds um, don't end in the shot. They mm -hmm. just keep... Woo! Yeah, I got it. You got it? Yeah. Oh, man, that since, was good. Since they go out of the screen, yeah, it's not like... Good. it's. It's not like I can just take it and move it around in different places and different areas. Well, I, I you know? like to see the footage and then it's right. pretty hip. I mean, that's going to be a good storm right there, and it's past it, which means we can sit and watch it. Right. But I mean, I can use I can use this uh, one sec. I can use this Hang what on, one sec. Cut. Yeah, I can use this to compare like an effect that I make. Cool. To this, so yeah. I can make it so look as, make it as, as check it to see if it's as, as realistic yeah, as possible. Yeah, that's pretty good, man. Look what? Barrett, what is it? Look at that. Barrett. Oh, um, if you caught the uh, all note at the beginning, uh, there's a bunch of uh, well, fireworks going off. If you're recording, it feels like speed. Yeah. Well, the cool. fire. Yeah, but I was recording the fireworks, and it's hard to see anything, and they're really tiny, and. To get just, depth yeah. It's just bad quality, yeah, so. This is pretty cool, though, man. I would keep throwing this as best I can. And that's just going to sit there for 10 minutes and just do that. Look at that. You got that low cloud with the higher cloud, and it's just heat like in between those two clouds. Yeah. Look at that. That is cool, man. I got a picture almost like that, but it was dust. So the sky came out purple and then orange, and then the lightning bolt struck down. I'll show you. He's got a million pictures because they're taking them right now. Yeah, but no, it's a cool shot, I think. Cool. Look at that. That awesome. is pretty cool, man. Awesome here. It'd be neat to see if you could recreate that in After Effects, you know, mm -hmm. if you could really do it. That is just amazing. Look at that. That was just phenomenal. Now, within that flash, was it just full white, you think, or do you actually you think you can break it down and get it? No, I mean, I can see the lines. Yeah? Ooh. Okay. Yeah, and I know it. Awesome. I know, I see. No, I know that. I'm just... Oh, and, um... Flash oh. Over here? oh, and on the desktop, I got 3DS Max and Softimage and all those other things. What experience and, um, is this new computer going to be able to do? Um, I think any, everything. Anything the desktop can do and even more than that. Yeah, huh? Yeah. Wow! wow. Amazing! Did you get that? Yeah. That is awesome. Wow. Did you see that three fingers coming yep. down? Yep. Pretty cool, man. Well, with the with um, After Effects, there's this. Uh, Yeah, it's right. It's here. it's right on the edge of the cloud. Look at that. Yeah, it's Amazing. it's right on the edge of the cloud. It's going outside of it. Yeah, but Bray, do you see the line? Yeah, I know. I know. That's what I'm saying. That's what I just said. No, but um, in uh, 3ds Max, I have this uh, plugin where it's called uh, uh, Flume FX. Yeah. So it makes like super realistic uh, smoke and explosions cool. and stuff. So. You know, that's fire and smoke. They say that's the hardest. Yeah, they but say it's. it's Right, but I mean, it's it's like the best for it, and it, it does it all in 3D space, so... That's pretty it, man. I'd so like to see that. Next time you come to the house, I'd like to see the footage, and man, that is really cool. You missed a good one. It was awesome. I know, I saw, I saw it out of the corner of my eye. It was awesome. It was a Scott firework. Decided He's joining in. Decided to put the fuel on it. Might as well just rip it. My man just came down and said, that's it. And remember, they found the Geist particle today. Yeah, they found it. They say. No, this Wait, is it. They I'm found the fuse fire. that lit the Big Bang. They found it. Really? Yeah, it cost them like $10 billion. Scientists have figured out how the universe started today. They really? announced it, yeah. See, it's one of the most amazing things ever. Yeah. In your lifetime, you're going to figure out how everything that was created is created. It's going to happen. It's pretty amazing. Scientists Why are on it. Huh? Oh, How cool is that? Oh, and awesome. where's the th 
thunderclap. That's not heat lightning. That's real lightning. It's heat lightning. No, I mean, isn't that the sound is when it hits the ground? That's the sound is when. No, it, I, I believe the lightning strike <coughs> itself is uh, static electricity indoor and this massive right. pressure. But the, the thunderclap should come when the cloud actually, when it releases, when it tells you how far away it is. That's my opinion. Yeah, but I'm that's usually, out of my ass. Yeah, that's so usually. I, <laughs> well, it's a thunderstorm, but lightning, I don't think, is always necessarily. Isn't that because that the, awesome. isn't, this, isn't that because there's no like air and water resistance? I'm not sure. I don't know. It's called super lightning. I mean, it's amazing. And they found that there are lightning belts and clouds up in the sky outside the atmosphere that this all they do is just rip around and just create this super lightning between them. And I know it, you can't have clouds outside the atmosphere. Remember they're still up there. It's totally black, but there really is. There are like nebulas. There's a bat right over there, watch out! <laughs> <laughs> they tell you, put your seatbelt on, you're like, yeah, whatever, all of a sudden you're in the aisle, like, oh my god, <laughs> what the hell happened? <laughs> you were just coming by. It is kind of cool to be in a plane when it, it goes through clouds, though. Isn't but it? But it goes, like, all Have you ever been in it? Yeah. When it, it just goes, yeah, yeah. Psh, psh, yeah. And through it's a crazy. storm, forget about it. Oh, yeah. Like when it's raining. It's nuts. It's a long airplane flight you ever been on. Eight hours. Eight's pretty good. Where'd you go? Really? Both like three hour flights. I bet. 
been on a plane for um, 19 hours back uh, from New Zealand and to Australia. Is it Australia like 24 hours? No, it depends where you take off. I took off from Los Angeles. Oh. So yeah. it depends. If you yeah. take off from here, it's 15 hours. But if you take off from Los Angeles, you have to add another four hours on it. Uh, um, I went to Hawaii, but we, we stopped in three different places. That's a four-hour flight. Well, we stopped in three different places. So it would be cheaper. <laughs> well, yeah, you get layover. Yeah. Yeah. But just from from LAX to landing in Honolulu. Yeah. That, that's that's three hours. That's no that's fun. Not, that's not that bad though. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. But then, and if you go to Japan, Japan was. Um, oh, how far was, is that? I think it was 21 hours on an airplane. Really? Yeah, and I had conjunctivitis in my ear oh. from flying so much. I was yeah. flying around. I flew to Hong Kong and I flew back. To ears didn't pressurize properly, yeah. and it really affected me. It was a pain in the butt. That's annoying when your ears keep on the ear. That's exactly what happened. Like, I just kept having them. <laughs> it stunk. <laughs> it was pretty tough. I do that the whole plane ride, and people are, like, looking at me. We flew into Osaka, and when you fly into Osaka, it's like landing right back. It's crazy. Really? Yeah, you fly right by buildings. It's, oh, my God. It's insane. And, and then as soon as you get there, everyone's tiny. <laughs> it's really like great. Me? <laughs> it's just like flying into Hong Kong. When you fly into Hong Kong, everybody's tiny. I felt like a giant. I felt like an ogre. Like I could just <laughs> It was crazy, stupid. Um, it's um, a good thing you did grab the keys, Chris, because you did lock the car. Yeah. <laughs> See? I know myself. Uh huh. Bah humbug. <laughs>